Hello there everyone, this is Ashmita from Sorovsis Classes and uh, in today's video we are going to focus on the types of adjectives. So first we are going to talk about adjectives of number, then we have qualitative adjectives, quantitative adje adjectives, then exclamatory adjectives, then article adjectives, degrees of adjectives, compound adjectives, coordinate and non-coordinate adjectives, then possessive adjectives, and all, all. Then we have emphasizing adjectives, then um, possessive adjectives, coordinative, ad yeah, interrogative adjectives, then uh, proper adjectives, demonstrative adjectives. So these are mainly the uh, different types of adjectives. So many adjectives either come before the nouns because adjectives mean something which uh, uh, describes about the quality, quantity, number, color of nouns. So yes, and, and some of the adjectives also come along with linking verbs like feel, seen, appear, etc. So some adjectives never come before the noun also. Okay, while some are placed just after the noun. So there are eight different types of adjectives that we have just talked about and now we are going to focus on those uh, things in details. Uh, so what is an adjective? It is uh, also used uh, to improvise the noun or talk about the noun or describe the noun or a pronoun. Okay, and see to it that a sentence can have more than one adjective also okay okay starting with the very first one which is descriptive adjective descriptive adjectives are used to illustrate or describe the qualities of a noun or a pronoun of a sentence um, like for example Harley Davidson is an expensive bike so here they are talking about a bike hence uh, an expensive bike so they are giving the quality of the bike showing the quality of the bike then the great Kali is a tall man in the wrestling industry so tall man so man is the noun and tall is the adjective or the quality of the of the man or description of the man Oxford University has an attractive infrastructure so what kind of infrastructure attractive infrastructure these were the descriptive adjectives coming to demonstrative adjectives. Demonstrative adjectives demonstrate about things, people or animals. It is used to express the position of the noun. It comes before the other adjectives and phrases or sentences. So demonstrative adjectives mostly come before the uh, other adjectives. Okay, Like for example, this, that, these, those, uh, all these are demonstrative adjectives. Like, for example, this movie is so funny, okay? Those are, Har uh, are Harry's bikes and car collections. These are my batchmates. Next, so uh, all these were demonstrative adjectives. Now moving over to distributive adjective. Distributive adjectives are generally used to point to a particular group or individual and we are and are used with singular nouns. Like for example, each, neither, every and either is four distributive adjectives. Um, so let's go through the examples with these uh, one word examples now we are going to use it in the form of sentences each student has to take part in cultural events uh, okay so each student next the there were two washing machines but neither worked properly means out of the two washing machines none of the washing machines were working properly i will be happy with either decision so like I will be happy with both the decisions. Every bogey of a train is filled with coal. So every what? Every bogey. The monkey divides the piece of bread and gives them to each cat. So uh, which cat? To each of the cat. To each of the cats. So this was all about the distributive adjective next we have the interrogative adjectives means question type adjectives like 
What is the exact location of your residence? Which of these bracelets do you want to purchase? So like these, uh, these are all the question type of words or interrogative words. Numerical adjective means something which deals with number. So a numerical adjective determines us about the number of nouns present in a sentence. Like numerical adjectives are of three types. Definite numerical adjectives like cardinal and ordinal. Indefinite numerical adjectives. Numeral, sorry. It's numeral adjectives. And thirdly, it's distributive numeral adjectives. Examples of numeral adjective are in these sentences. Mark purchased five Bugatti cars from the showroom. That's cardinal. The second part of this movie is mind-blowing. That's ordinal. Okay. So, uh, lastly, we can summarize it. Like, which are the types of adjectives that we have just studied? Uh, we studied about descriptive adjectives, demonstrative adjectives, distributive adjectives, interrogative adjective, numeral adjective, quantitative adjective, proper adjective, and possessive adjectives. So only two of them are left to be discussed. Let's focus on those. Um, quantitative adjective means something which deals with a quantity, like little, more, much, few, all, large, small, tall, um, 30, 50, etc. Next, we have some examples of quantitative adjective, like he played the guitar for the very first time. I scored 98 marks in a recent test. Then we have some proper adjectives. Proper adjective indicates an appropriate person, thing, animal or object. So it refers to a particular person of existence and hence needs to be capitalized. So like uh, we, can talk, we can say proper adjectives are almost similar to proper nouns because even in that we were referring to certain special names. So let's go through these examples. Asian countries organized a Commonwealth Games. So Asian countries. The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean on the earth. I tasted different types of food but Indian food has the best taste. Okay. Okay, so these were the examples of proper adjective. Now, possessive adjective. Possessive means something which belongs to me. Like um, my, our. These are coming under first person. Then second person, yours is coming. Third person, his, her, it's, their, whose are coming. Examples of possessive types of adjectives. My PC is working better now as it has worked in the beginning. Uh, so uh, they're talking about possession. So my PC, my personal computer, my laptop, his car is costlier than, than my vehicle. So his car, whose car? His car uh, is costlier than my vehicle. Okay. So now we are going to talk about certain exercises over here based on uh, the different types of adjectives. Let's focus on this. Choose the best answer for each sentence. The house is dash. The house is large and white. Okay, so the first one would be the correct answer. B. They live in a dash house. They live in a large white house. So just see the difference how you can write the, these things. Next question. Which sentence uses the correct order of adjectives? We took a ride on the blue old Chinese bus. We took a ride on a Chinese old blue bus. No, second one is not the correct order. Uh, third one, we took a ride on an old blue Chinese bus. No. Um, old blue Chinese bus. S the first one will also not go. The answer would be this one. Because first they are saying that this was a pretty old blue color Chinese bus. So like that, the order will be correct. Okay, we are going to keep it till here today in this video. If you want to solve questions like this with me and... 
um, talk about the concepts and discuss about these, then you can join our classes for that. All the details regarding our classes um, are given in the description box below. Uh, this video you will get it and if you have any further queries you can post down your comments below in the comment box along with that we also provide you with live lectures recorded lectures portal access doubt clearing sessions mock test facilities for all competitive exams and for all entrance based uh, examinations uh, exam preparation we do so yeah that's it for today's video let's meet again in the next videos